This is the view from Virginia Avenue Park in Santa Monica on July 15th. Up in the upper left-hand corner there was Venus. That's a, an airplane over toward the left edge now. And you can see the moon just above the trees over there toward the center of the frame. So we're going to get a closer look at the moon here and we can see that it's in a crescent phase. And when we get the magnification up here, this is 48 times the size of what you see with the naked eye, you can see the moon slowly starting to dip down be below the trees. So you know, with a crescent moon, it's very near the sun in the sky. It's going to set very shortly after the sun, and that's what we're seeing here is the Earth's rotation carrying everything away to the east, so it makes the stuff in the sky look like it's moving to the west. So let's zoom out a little bit more here to get uh, some perspective. So there's our crescent moon hanging above the trees. So the moon goes through phases, but the moon isn't actually even the, um, the only thing in the sky that will do that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and zoom back over here to Venus. And if you remember from the constellations video, I said that Venus is about as bright as an airplane. Well, there you see there's Venus right next to the airplane. And without zooming in, it's kind of hard to tell which is which, but the airplane is now kind of moving up and away from Venus. So if you're looking on your own, that's probably the best way to tell. Venus will be the one that's not kind of moving and blinking as it's going along there. So I'm trying to zoom in on Venus here to get a, a view similar to what we had with the moon. And with just the camera, you can see that the that Venus is a little bit elongated. It's a little bit misshapen. but what we want to see is, you know, is there anything else going on with Venus that maybe we could need a telescope to see? So let's take a look at, first of all, what's going on with its orbit. So in this diagram we see the orbits of the f first four planets, starting from the innermost Mercury, then Venus, then Earth is represented in blue, outside of that is Mars. But here we're interested in Earth and Venus, which has the white arrow pointing to it in this diagram. And the arrangement you see here is how they were on January 12th, the blue dot being Earth, the white dot with the arrow next to it being Venus. And then we come around to this past weekend, uh, just about six months later, and we see that Venus has caught up with Earth in its orbit. So the reason for this is mainly Venus is closer to the Sun, and so there's more gravity from the Sun at this point. Venus has to move faster to maintain a near-circular orbit. So here's Earth again at the beginning on January 12th when we shot the Comet McNaught video, and there's Venus on the same day. At this point they were 240 million kilometers apart, and then we go six months here, and Earth will go halfway around its orbit, but Venus goes 80% of the way around its orbit. So as they were on July 14th, this past weekend, Venus is now only about 60 million kilometers from Earth and getting closer. So the other thing we can see is that in the beginning arrangement, the light from the Sun will bounce off Venus and then come to Earth, and it will illuminate most of Venus. You'll have a nearly full Venus when Venus is on in this arrangement uh, relative to the Earth. But as Venus swings around and gets closer, so it, it gets f four times larger in the sky in its appearance. It doesn't actually get any larger. It looks larger, though. And at this point, you only see the Sun kind of glinting off one side of Venus. So just like with the Moon, when you see Sun glinting off one side of it, it's a crescent Moon. Here's sunlight glinting off one side of Venus, and you have a crescent Venus. So here's the view through the Dobsonian telescope showing that indeed we are looking at a crescent phase for the planet Venus.